Hey folks, how's it going? And as you can see here, I'm, I have seen some uh, neutron spikes before and basically hopefully we'll go to Sechi here and we'll see uh, also here with this real fast, we'll show you and I'll even pump up on size here this real fast. I don't really have, apologize for the quality, it's going to be for a little while on my videos because I don't really have time. Uh, real busy on personal matters and basically, but I'm showing you today because basically I looked at JavaScript real fast in Sechi. So we got a lot of earthquake action going on as you've seen we've had whatever seven stuff like that over it uh, around Chile uh, 6.0 along the coast today up in uh, Alaska uh, what we want you to what I want and I don't want to, I say we all the time I'm just me solo okay so here we go with what we have as a planet now what you need to do is pay attention to that as, as it goes behind just before it goes behind that planet there, that where I've got my cursor at, I'm gonna move my cursor away in case it's messing up on the footage. And here we are at B, okay? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you to JPL and you'll see today's position. Uh, I got uh, DA2012, uh, DA14 in the JPL. But the most important thing is the positioning so that the idea that the camera could not get a shot and I'm not even going to say that this is, but it, there's a slight possibility that this could be Mercury down here and Venus up here. But it's highly unlikely because of the size that they look, okay, and also closeness to the camera and also the fact, the idea, the only thing that this possibly could be, and which is, puts this, this is this being a damn good find right here? Because even if we sit and believe or even think that this could be Venus up here and this could be Mercury down here, which I kind of doubt that it is, but it, it, there's a possibility because we're shooting from B and I'll give you the angle when we go to JPL in a second. The most important thing you need to realize is that this is more than likely another planet that we have found. And remember, I've been telling you about the bow shock and how NASA has been telling you about the bow shock. And when they've been looking for the bow shock, that means the magnetic energy of this is the sun over here, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, and this is all electrical, and it's dust particles. That's correct. It's magma from the nuclear fusion of the sun, and it goes at light speed through space. Okay, and it does this in just the 24-hour period of the here on the footage. But the positioning of whatever planet this is, because I'm going to prove to you that this is not Jupiter, and also as we will go here, and I'll show you. Now remember, it has changed. They've been, they've been keeping an eye on it, and I've recalculated the AU and DA 2012, DA 14 will get as close as 21,157. Now remember, it was 16,800 and some miles, and you can go back to my original recording on that, the actual factual, okay? But the data now, and what we we're looking at is, I'm gonna prove to you that when we're looking at, this is recent, this is the map of DA 14, and basically, as you can see, it's very close to Earth. That's Earth right by DA 14. DA14 right now because basically 2012 DA14 is the, there's your distance right there my, my time and everything in central standard time is always down over here in the right hand corner uh, Saturn's not in this shot and basically what it's doing is it shows the Sun and as you can see this is why I'm saying that basically at the shot that we're looking at here that basically you're not gonna see Saturn okay because it's showing the right hand side of the Sun the Sun's right there okay uh, the little red orange spot right there in the middle of the well that's always in the middle of the well okay and then the height of jupiter okay as we're looking and as you see here there's not supposed to be anything here because if you're catching the side of the sun on a shot out in space right now and then i'll bring this around and it's very much almost impossible for me to have something on the right hand side of but I can barely bring, you know, I can't bring Mercury in front of the sun. As you can see, Mercury, I can't bring Mercury around. They might be getting possibly Mars in the shot, okay? You can't even get Venus in the shot, okay? I can keep dragging, dragging like this, and you're going to see that, you could, okay, you could get Mercury and Mars. So then basic, basically what we'll say is factual here as we're looking, that basically the only thing you could really possibly get in that shot when we're looking at Sechi right here, is you can only probably get Mercury and Mars in that shot, okay? And it's very rare, and 
unthinkable that that maybe that really is Mars there because why the hell it's so damn big and bright? We're going to zoom in on that too because look below there's some very interesting action low of that and let's zoom in on that right now as I'm looking but also remember see how this flares right here? So that's we, we, and we've already I'm going to pop back to JPL real fast so you realize that basically it can't be Jupiter because of the height with Earth. As you can see Earth is the little green spot right next to the blue and it's not it's so close to DA14 that it doesn't matter on the height and as you can see as we check the height out no matter what that as you can see Earth is just below the sun line or right at it at the angle because basically in there as you can see we have DA14 and Earth and as I move it up you will see that the idea that no matter what that Jupiter is higher than Earth so at the angle there's no way the hell that that can be Jupiter because Jupiter has to be up higher so let's just go with the idea that okay we've already proven and shown that we know that it's not Venus and Mercury but it is more than likely Mercury and Mars but we're gonna blow up and take a look at what's below Mars right now because why the hell is Mars so damn far away from H1B looking so damn large and then why is uh, Jupiter looking so small and that can't be Jupiter basically I just showed you the fact that, that can't be Jupiter because it's too damn low in the shot okay angles can be deceiving but the, it's the number one thing is the size so the most interesting thing is what the hell planet is that and there's a good possibility that this might be another look at the planet that we were seeing remember my last video that I had up I was showing you uh, that basically that planet there was close to Jupiter now no matter what you know that I'm gonna take and show you on here I'm gonna be able to show you the data now remember this is blown up from this square which the Sun is in the well way deep in here and the Sun's not marked here but it's way deep in here and there you got that should be Mercury there's Mercury okay so what we're ending up seeing is we get we've already proved don't let this drawing miss you up but the idea that we showed you on JPL and I'll go back to JPL in a second but remember that Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto are all off here to the right, and so is Mars and Venus all off to the right. Now, we did kind of show that there's a good possibility that maybe, maybe this is this Mercury down here. Okay, possibly. That might be Mercury, and that might be Mars. Okay, whatever. We'll just stick with that. I'm not positive that it is, though. And we're going to blow in on this here. Let's blow up on the shot on that, on the size of it. But remember the angle. I just showed you that the idea that that's too small to be Jupiter and that should be the, more than likely the planet that we seen that right there well, that will blow in on because we'll be able to look at all this stuff here as we go up the right hand side and we see the magneticals now remember mercury that's another thing that this idea that why would that be looking like mercury remember we're at b we're all the way on the back side on b shooting all the way back across and we're getting earth okay and you see how small earth is you know that's not mercury okay this ain't mercury you want to know why it's not Mercury? The size, because we're shooting from all the way, remember, and then also down here on the size on this thing, that the factual now, the only thing that's a little bit is the idea that that's kind of close to what Jupiter would look like here, okay? Now, maybe since this is higher than the Earth, okay, maybe that's Jupiter there, okay? Now, we've already found when we were looking at, uh, I'm trying to remember whether it was A or B that we were looking at, A, so you basically go back to the video before this one that I've had uploaded, and then you'll know and if not, it's the, like the last half a dozen videos because I was showing that this planet, these pla these planets, because this can't be Mercury. It's too damn big. It's shooting too far away from because we're at B. And I'll do, prove it again when we go down that we're at B. And then that planet there's the luminosity. Basically, we know it to be a CME. And basically, we have a CME material coming off here, as you see coming across. And then I want to hurry up and get into the also that the go back to the what we originally showed you that the what we're getting from now and then check out what's way below of whatever planet that that there is now like I'm saying since th this one is higher okay this one here or this one up there one of these should be Jupiter one could be Jupiter but they're not marking them either okay and then let's blow in on this because way down below on its magnetical look it's got something going on below it below its magnetical now could it be a comet possibly could possibly could be a comet but we've seen other flares like that before also okay so let's get zoomed in on this we'll go 999 custom real fast because I want I gotta hurry up on the babbling but I also want you to show 
that we're not messing with any footage here and I'll try to get the uh, energy that we're getting hit with right here on Earth. And uh, Well, we got lucky there because I don't understand why it went so small or real fast. But anyway, see? So there is something below. But then it could just be another star, you know, as you can see, another cluster way off behind that planet there. But it's very interesting because of the sizes here that we're proving and the idea of the height of the orbit of that I've shown you on the JPL. I'll just back the footage up because I'm going to try to get some time so that we can get back. But no matter what, ladies and gentlemen, you're seeing the fact of how small Earth is. You know that this can't be Mercury because it's too goddamn big. And it's very highly unlikely that it would be Mars looking that damn big too because it's not, okay, for size wise. And then so here and here are our very interesting planets. Now, the footage that we've had before in the past, go to my previous video before this one. It's been quite a while since I made that one and I haven't had much interesting. There was a little bit of interesting footage and I'll see if I can get that in the next couple videos or something like that. But the stuff that I was showing you, the electrical energy that we had going on up by Jupiter, Okay, and then as you see here, you're getting more electrical energy from this planet that we have already found that they don't mark, that we have seen this planet that's down here low. Remember, it was low of Jupiter before. So, and in contrast, it looks like this could be Jupiter. But what the hell is this way the hell up here? And then what also, you know, somewhat below there that we've already magnified in on. And let's go to the en energy that we're getting that I was showing you basically from you're getting this here, this spike here. And we're getting it here on Earth. This is what we get hit with on Earth over at the cosmic ray station that's set up in Moscow. Now quickly, I just loaded this. So as you can see, it's H1A. This is ACE. You're getting electrical energy. That's what we're getting hit with here on Earth. We're getting some of this, okay? Now, this is earlier. This is on the 24th. Remember that this here is from today, okay? But we're getting hit with energy, and then we do have, yes, we've got uh, a lot more quake activity. Now, I think I've got this going fast enough that you can see this energy spurt that comes across here, okay? And I'll, fa I'll speed it up real fast so that you probably should be able to see it more. And that's the sun to the right. And remember, this is ACE. And as you can see, this will flash a lot more here above my cursor. As you see that, and that's basically energy, cosmic rays. And I've been showing you cosmic rays that have been going by. So it's actually for a lot ages, okay? And as you see that this is coming in rather than going out until it's not coming off of the sun, okay? Cosmic energy. So, but the most blatant things, and while folks, as I come over here, we're getting more cosmic energy again, as you see light energy from outer space and as you see it coming along and then Jupiter too how big it looks and how big it is compared to the Sun remember the Sun's about that size under there and as you see that huge we're getting cosmic energy from all over space right now there's a bunch of uh, you know and it's not nothing new for anybody who's been watching Soho for years but as you remember so that what we're looking at when we take I got to take you back to the footage we've been looking at remember when you're looking just here alone even proves you even more that the idea that this big stuff that we're seeing around by Earth Okay, see Jupiter and then how nothing else is looking that big right now on from A here. So we're going to go back to our footage that the idea that what we're seeing there is absolutely not anything that we know of in our solar system. Now ladies and gentlemen, I know PSYOPs very well and I'm not mind sodomizing you, okay? Don't mind sodomize yourself, okay? And you know what that is, that's just for the kids so that the idea that if they're in here listening, okay? So I'm not screwing you in the brain. Okay, let's put it that way. And I'm not going to ever do that any other way because I'm not that. So, uh, I love the rainbow community though because I, you know, I love women. So, now, the actual factual here, ladies and gentlemen, is we have planets that are not, okay, that is absolutely not Jupiter. There's a possibility that this could be Jupiter. There's a possibility that this could be Jupiter. The angles and everything, since we're looking from B, you have to make up your mind of what you think what is, Okay. As you can see how small Earth is, but it still shows up that big. So, actual factual, we have a lot more planets in our solar system, i.e. this one here that we found down by Jupiter before, and that's doing this now. It's still got this electrical energy going on that we're seeing, and we kept on seeing that energy, and I was showing you in the last video. Watch my last video, my last do half dozen videos, we were talking about Jupiter and what the hell is up there, and what how big our solar system is, okay? There's a lot more in our solar system. The... Uh, just like NASA's been telling you, where is the bow shock? Where is the bow shock? And then the factual that we have found planets, because more than likely, 
Someone's got to come up with an excuse what the hell this is, because this is the planet that we keep on seeing the energy up by Jupiter, and our solar system is way bigger than what we believe it is, because it's the energy solar system of our sun. Magneticism of our sun is a lot larger than what we have thought. Bow shock. It's proving it even more every day in all these planets that we end up seeing up there, okay?